Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. I do promise I won't continue to overdo the waterfall ephemera, but I'm just, my mind is buzzing with all the ways that we can make waterfalls in our journals. Again, they are very low profile, very easy to make. Um, at least I have found that to be true. Once I find a process that works for me, it's awesome. So I do want to just take a moment to um, make a comment. So I had a comment on one of my recent videos from a, a person who was very unhappy with the way that I was doing my video, um, that I was, my hands were flailing around, I was, um, my measurements were changing, um, and all of that stuff. So I, I want to bring it up because I want to say that I take all comments with, um, I, I mean, I give them thought and I consider them and I make changes based on them. I uh, struggled with the way that it was conveyed. It was very hurtful, to be honest. It was very uh, rigid and um, harsh, in my opinion. And But I took a whole day to think about it prayed about how I wanted to respond and what part of myself I wanted to share back with this person to convey my um, my perspective and, and I did that. So, but that being said guys, I am always, always evolving in my creative journey, especially uh, with the things that I bring to you. So um, I am going to be starting to um, do my very, very best to give you the measurements kind of down in writing so that you guys can take a snapshot. You can visually look at it. I will also do my very best. I am imperfect. I cannot guarantee it and I'm not going to sweat it. I have to be me. I have to be comfortable with being imperfect. That's just, yeah, to be perfect is, is a joy stealer in my opinion. So again, I will do my very, very best. I also will be, um, there will be a posting note on every uh, piece of ephemera that I make so that you guys can um, check out, you can make note of the name of the kit and who the creator was so that you can find it in the supply list. Because I know that when I'm working on a big journal, that list can get pretty long. I had another really, really great comment uh, from a uh, from a gal who said she was really confused because she couldn't tell by looking at my list which ones I had actually used in the video. So I'm making a change to that as well. So again, full disclaimer, I am a human being. Um, and, and so I'm going to be imperfect, but I will always listen to the comments of people that are watching because again, I do this for you. So without further ado, let's go, go on, get going. I've got my ink. I've got a corner rounder in case we want to make some soft edges. I've got my eyelet setter. Um, hopefully I have some eyelets. I may have to reach for those. My apologies. I'm going to set that aside. And um, I've got my ruler so that I can if I need to measure anything, I can show you. And um, I've got my scoreboard here and my little dealio here. I've got a couple of colors of uh, seam binding that we'll be using for uh, for this bit. So I'll show you that here in a second. But let me show you the prototype. And again, I love, I love, love, love these waterfall elements because they are low profile and they create a lot of writing space. So this time I did um, this direction. So I think that is, um, it's not for, it's horizontal, right? I don't know. You know what I mean, up and down. <laughs> so this is actually a belly band, okay? So it's going to be a belly band. So it will be glued on the top and the bottom. I'm thinking about actually, now that I think about it, I think I decided um, that I was going to use Velcro dots here. Okay, so this could be taken off of the page, written in, and reattached. So I think I'm going to do that. So let me reach for those really quick. They're just right here in my drawer. Um, so I'm just going to reach for these low profile um, dots here. And, um, and that's a really great way to create closures and things as well that's not too cumbersome. So sorry about forgetting those. And so that will be a belly band and then these journal cards will tuck um, behind it. So I made the journal cards small enough so that if I chose to do the Velcro dots I would have room. So you can see I have plenty of room top and bottom to do a Velcro dot. So let me show you the inside of this. I t uh, glued a piece of seam binding there and you just untie it and then you've got this beautiful writing space. It's a little narrow, but look at that. 
got a little stickage there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now a person could also cut a piece here that would be, that wouldn't go, it wouldn't extend past here, so you'd have one more writing space. Um, I would maybe do that in the future, but I did not prepare for that today, so we're gonna just go on and we're gonna create this one. So because I'm using different digitals on camera, the digitals I used for this set is Kleeblot Creations. This one is the Snow Fairy Tale, Snow Fairy Tale kit, and this in that's again from Kleeblot Creations, and then the the children are Christmas children from Very Pear, and I apologize, it's hard for me to say that. I don't know if I'm saying it properly, but that is, you can grab a snapshot of that so that when you're looking at the supply list, you can go, oh, she said Snow Fairy Tale. I can click on that link. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. I don't want to make your life miserable, I promise. Um, but again, I am limited on time. I, um, one of the things I explained to the person who commented was that, you know, I do I do at least at a minimum three videos a week, and each video takes me probably a cumulative of four hours uh, between prepping, creating a proto prototype, uh, linking supplies, recording, editing, uploading, um, social media posts, and all of that. So it, it's a pretty big deal, you guys. And yeah, so um, I I would hope that. Um, when I give feedback on a channel, I try to be very constructive in that feedback and use a lot of um, things like I feel statements or um, have you thought about this or that kind of thing rather than, than a more kind of accusatory tone that can be really hurtful to a person's heart. It was, it was very hurtful to my heart. And again, that's my work and I processed it and I'm okay now. Um, but, um, if you are going to, you know, as a viewer, give, please, please give me your feedback. I want that feedback because that's how I know what I need to change and how I need to grow. So there we go. We're done talking about comments. <laughs> so I have two different ones here. So um, this is the one we're gonna start with because I did kind of change the width measurements on the belly band part of that one. So this one is Klee Block Creations Silent Christmas. So all the pieces that you see here are from that kit. I will create the journal cards off camera so we actually probably won't need the eyelet setter but uh, I just realized I didn't prep any of the cards but it's basically I just take an image from the kit I cut it down to fit round the corners maybe uh, put a sentiment on it if I choose and we're golden so it's not really hard and I put a, a tab or something on the side so I can do um, the seam binding similar to what I did here so that's kind of my process but I'll do that off camera you can always see those photos at the end of the video so this is our base piece, which is the belly band itself, and it measures three and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. Now, that being said, you can make these any size you want. If you're making a smaller journal, you can make it narrower, you can make it shorter, okay? And it's really hard to give finite instructions based on that, because if you change the dimensions of your base piece, then your measurements for your, for your, um, waterfall pieces are going to also change, right? So um, what I do is I allow, so these are cut to to fit this tag, and they're gonna be similar layout to this in terms of the distance from top to bottom and the dis distance from side to side. So you could have it completely meet up and have it be, have the waterfall pieces be, be wider, that would be fine as well. But you, you have to explore and play for yourself too. I can't, I can't do the play part for you. Um, so, um, so yeah. Um, so this is three and a half by eight and a quarter. These measure two and a half inches wide and seven and a quarter inches tall. Now the two and a half is before we've scored it. So we're gonna score each of these at a quarter of an inch, which is gonna bring the finished, the finished width to two and a quarter and then the length remains the same at seven and a quarter. So that is that, and again, that Silent Christmas from Klee Blot Creations. So we're gonna start by um, scoring these pieces. So I'm just gonna set that out of the way, and I like to put my little scoreboard this way so I have this nifty set corner to do my scoring in. So 
I'm going to go ahead and lay this in here. I'm thinking about which side I want scored. I think I want to score this edge. This is a this is an image that doesn't match. Well, I guess it does need to go this way because otherwise it'd be upside down. Although that wouldn't be bad either. Probably nobody would notice. Probably nobody would notice. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and score it at a quarter of an inch. Okay, and I'm just going to hold that firm. I was having trouble with some of mine actually folding, so I'm going to I'm going to score that twice. So let me finish doing these two, or all three of these pieces. I'm going to ink up the base, ink up the, um, the waterfall pieces, and then we will get on with the construction. Okay, we have one more to ink. So I like to ink around all the edges and all the folds. So I'm folding it this way, and I'm going to ink this whole edge and all around. I did choose to round the base. Um, you could totally do that with these pieces too. You would just want to make sure that you could get it even, you know, that it wasn't uh, wasn't random and, and irregular because that would look that would look kind of strange. So just showing you why I'm doing both all the edges on this flat piece because the other side that is the writing space is going to show. So I like to um, ink that edge to that scored edge so we're going to do that together here like so it's, it's an imperfect score line but that's okay and again that is a quarter inch score line in case you need that detail okay so there we go so now what I do, now when you do this, you are um, sacrificing the image, but I was able to get the base and a couple of pieces of the uh, waterfall part out of one piece of paper. So I don't mind sacrificing some of the images on this base because I'm not gonna throw this paper away, right? I mean, I'm gonna use it, which is, which is good. I'm gonna set that ink aside. Crumbs off my table. And I've got my Fabri-Tac because it allows you some room to move things around and adjust. So let's think about which one we want to have be on the top. So they're going to go this way. We've got three pieces. I think I want to do um, this one first. Okay, so basically what you do is you're going to decide now based on my measurements, remember the measurements for this piece, let me grab that piece of paper, are three and a half by eight and a quarter. So, so you can see by my prototype how far over to the left edge I came. So I'm going to follow that just for the ease of the video. So that is about... Uh, an eighth of an inch, so not very much at all. So I'm going to follow that, and I'm just going to eye spy top to bottom to see if it's it's pretty pretty well even. I feel like I've got an edge here that was not inked. Goodness gracious! Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put some Fabri-Tac. Actually, I'm going to get my little bottle out if I can find it because I get too much glue. That with that one because it's such a big nozzle. Where is my little bottle? My husband borrowed it, but he did return it. There we go. So I've got a little bit of Fabri-Tac in this bottle. It comes out pretty slow, but it might be the answer to the glue oozing. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this edge. Hopefully I can get this to start flowing. Oh yeah, much better. Hopefully. can't quite tell if it's coming out. It's a little bit harder to press than my Sugar Bell bottle, so. Oh boy, really hard to press. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and again, we're gonna ice spy it before we kind of set it down. Get it um, about that same distance, about an eighth of an inch from the left edge. And then I'm just gonna plop that baby down. Okay, and give it a press. And then because I'm using Fabri-Tac, I can fudge this a little bit if I'm feeling like it's not quite even. That looks a lot better to me. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm, I'm gonna trust that that's solid. It feels like it is. It feels like it's got plenty of glue. And I'm gonna get my bone folder. I didn't really bone fold these, which I would recommend so they don't pop up like that. And just give that a good crease there so that will lay down a little bit better. Awesome. 
And then we're gonna go, oh, we didn't get any glue in there. Let's get a little bit more. It looks like we did not get enough. I think I'm not gonna have patience for this small glue bottle. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe if I set it upside down, like I do my big bottle, that will help. I'm gonna set it over there in my paper clip bin there and hopefully it won't leak all over the paper clips. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the Christmas tree one next. So it's just gonna butt up against that edge. So the scored edge here, we're folding here, but we have this edge to kind of be a guide to lining that one up. Okay, so it's gonna go right there. So we're gonna do that in the same fashion with all three of these pieces. I'm just looking, um, so see how I've got a little bit of an overlap here? So that tells me that it might not be quite straight. So again, the benefit of the Fabri-Tac is I can move that and line it up a little bit better. It might be that there's an uneven cut as well, um, which happens and that's okay too. So that looks really, really nice. I love these images together. Whoops, we moved. Don't move, don't move. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. Oh, we're off. Let's see if we can slide this mama up. Again, you, you do get a little bit of wiggle room here with the Fabri-Tac. It looks like that might be pretty set. So sometimes you have to embrace the imperfections. It looks like it's pretty even on that bottom edge. So I'm looking here. Okay, so now we can do our last one. So um, don't let the black sleeves um, deceive you. I'm in my pajamas today. I will be in my pajamas all day long. <laughs> I took a fall yesterday at school in the gym with one of my little Down Syndrome kiddos and I fell hard. Like I fell so hard that my I hit the floor with my behind and I knew that if I didn't adjust I was going to hit my head on the gym floor and so I, I think I whiplashed my own self. Um, with my body and so I my tailbone sore my um, left elbow is very sore and my um, my neck on the left side which is what took the impact so I am taking it easy today and I'm just not even going to put uncomfortable clothes on I'm just gonna give myself permission to be in this space so and I'll be doing creating in here because I need to catch up weekends are my time to to plan and and do videos so I will do it in increments and take care of myself for those of you kind-hearted folks out there who who um, are you know little mama hens <laughs> I do know how to take care of myself so I work really hard at that so I'm gonna again but bump that up right there as well and I'm gonna pull that over so that we're just bumping up into that edge it looks this looks amazingly even amazingly even and so you can see why it's it's beneficial to ink that, that scored edge too because we've got this like interesting little, almost looks like a spine there, right? Which I love that look, but look at that. That is amazing. So a person could actually do four on this one. Did we do four? Oh, we did do four. That was totally my bad, you guys. Look at that. I'd only cut three and we did four. One, two, three, four. I wonder if I can sneak another one in. Let me see what paper I've got here. Um, um, um doggone it. I don't think I can because I don't have another one printed. So I will um I will add to this. <laughs> I think I can add to the other one because I've got like paper over there, maybe. Nope, because it's printed on the back. Um so yeah, I, I'll have to rectify that. Oh, I do have another piece that I could I could fix this one. So this one I'll add the fourth water piece. I'm so sorry guys. If you only did three though, you would want to kind of try to center it a little bit on your base. Um, again, that just takes some experimenting. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, and so what I would do, and we can do this already now, so I'm going to kind of match this up. I think this, this seam binding is a good color, so I'm just going to take a bit of this and just give it a trim. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that 
and then we'll move on to the other one and you'll be able to see the process with the right number of um, of waterfall pieces so just kind of getting those strings even as well there we go and I'm gonna just tie that so that I can go to the back and I can um, I can put a dot of glue just so it stays in place so super super easy piece of ephemera guys again very very low profile even with the seam binding oh that was really that was terrible oh my goodness oh my goodness that's okay Let's struggle together so even with a seam binding bow i think it's it's totally doable to be stuck in a pocket i cut a uh, too long of a length here so I'm just going to trim those off those go in my scrap bin so they don't get wasted there we go so now we can put a dot of glue back here I'm just going to use the fabric tack just so that doesn't move and just give that a nice little press and that is the end of the first one. Again, I will create um, some journal cards to go in the sides because this will again be attached. Um, well, let me show you that just so that you can see kind of what I'm thinking with the, um, the Velcro dots. So what I do is, um, is I put the, the hard piece um, on first and I just kind of put that at the wherever the places I want it to be adhered so I'm going to go as close to that rounded corner as I can just to save the landscape on the project and I'm turning just so that I can get it right there nice and um, secure in that corner and again over here oh we got a little piece of extra paper what there we go and one more in that corner again okay whoops wrong way wrong way sticky side has to go down got some of that paper that's the backing there we go silly silly there we go and so then what I do because then I don't have to attach this to anything right now right I can put my velcro top dot no I can't because this will be the sticky side will be up so what I would do is I would put this soft side down so the sticky back would be up when I get ready to put it in the journal so there we go so that is prototype or not prototype that is number one this is going in the winter wonder journal number one so that's that and let's work on this one because i did make a, a variation of this so i widened the base piece or the uh the tag piece or belly band piece rather to four inches wide it's still eight and a quarter inches high just to kind of show you that you can do that so I'm going to take a moment I'm going to score all of these bits and I will be back with you in a moment okay we're on the last bit of inking here so I like the way that I did this paper because I created I used more background kind of papers for both the front and the back of these waterfall pieces so that makes uh, it a little bit more versatile uh, for how you can apply these to your project uh, but I'll show you what I have in mind like that can be totally written on that will be the back uh, writing space it could also be the front if one wanted it to be so let's see score lines a little off there but we'll work with it I don't worry about it okay there we go Boy, I need to change that sponge messy messy oh I forgot the the actual card here so or the belly band so again this measures four inches rather than the three and a half on the first one that we did I love the inking you don't have to ink if you don't want to I'm using vintage photo archival ink so there we go so let's see what we've got here so we've got this one's gonna go this way but I'll show you so you know you could choose um, this is going to be the front and that's going to be the inside but you could reverse that if you wanted to so we've got that one and this is also going to be the outside because I want it to really tie out with this 
and I'm going to butt this over a bit so that we get more of this side showing because I love the kind of hardware look there and then that's the inside of that one and then like so all all the same so I'm going to put that kind of paper on the inside just for my that's what's pleasing to me so I'm actually thinking I want this to be the first page so I did cut the extra piece, guys, in case I forgot to mention that. I did just cut the fourth one so you can see what that actually looks like. So get some things out of the way. So I'm going to try, I'm going to kind of lay these out because I need to experiment and make sure that they will all fit. So I'm going to just kind of hold that there and then um, just kind of play around with can I where, I, where I need to set that first one. It can go about there I think and so then this one would go here and open that up and I'm just looking for kind of an estimation for how far I can go over to that edge so why are we having trouble here that's the wrong way no oh, that's not the wrong way goodness gracious Karen there we go it goes with that um, scored part down folded down so there and then one more. Hopefully we can make this work. Again, I'm just trying to hold them sort of in that general vicinity so that we can, yeah, that will work. So I'm going to try to leave that one kind of where it was so that I can see how far from the edge I need to be. I think I can come here is what my visual was telling me that I could come on this side of that those kind of those metal bits so this is a little bit harder to gauge top and bottom just because of the different images but we're gonna just go with that I'm going to put a pencil mark though so that I have something to go against so I'm gonna put a pencil mark right there and then we're gonna get going this little glue bottle is actually working really well other than the little bubbles I'm not getting as much stickage as I was getting on the prototype so You can just get these little bottles on Amazon in case you guys haven't seen that. It's been a long time since I bought any, so I don't know that I could link it, but you can look it up. It's just a, a small uh, tip um, applicator bottle. Okay, we're going to go there. So there again, I'm looking at my pencil line. I'm looking kind of just surveying right before I stick it down, um, distancing the top to the bottom. I can always wiggle it down. So that looks to be pretty good. And um, I'm going to open that up and see if I can tell how straight I am because, it, again, the paper makes it a little bit harder. So I'm going to get my ruler and just kind of measure this and see we are about seven eighths of an inch. Um, so we need to come, we need to go one direction or the other. So I'm going to pull that out. Again, Fabri-Tac allows you that wiggle room. So 13 sixteenths and we're still uneven. So I'm going to pull that some more. If it's really moving, I don't know. <laughs> looks better it's kind of some paper is easier to tell by just visually that's three quarters of an inch and that's three quarters so I'm happy with that so I'm just gonna go ahead and just smooth that out it's got it got a little confused there with all my moving I'm just gonna press that oh I love that being on the top yes we're gonna open that up and we're gonna go in for the second one I think it was oh, I turned them all over I know what I want, so I'm just gonna. I think we'll go with this one, and this is not directional either way, so I can just put it whichever way I want. So, um, just a note: I will be doing a tutorial. Um, well, not a tutorial. I'm going to be doing the project that I talked about, where I do a watercolor, kind of a watercolor painting using that. Hippie Crafter watercolor paper, so that will be coming up on the channel as well. Um, I just grabbed an image off of Pinterest, not my design, not my image. I take no credit for the drawing. I just like to use them for practicing, so, um, so I'll show you how that goes. I'll speed up that video too, but I will try to introduce some, some watercolor um, knowledge for you in that video. 
I believe I have that scheduled to go. I haven't filmed it yet, but I think it's going to go up on the channel next Saturday. Was that next Saturday? Hold on. This is how I keep track of my schedule. So yeah, the Saturday the 13th. Um, is when I'm planning on um, putting that one up on the channel once I get it filmed. So that looks great. And then we'll go ahead with this one because it's that darker color again. I don't know why this is so hard to squeeze. It's hard on my hands. I don't know if it's really worth it. It hurts. I also will be doing a reference journal online on camera so I would love it if you could provide well by the time you see this though it might be too late I don't know no this will go up early in the week uh, so what I'd like to know is do you guys want to see the whole process of me uh, constructing a reference journal and ha and sharing how I would use that reference journal I'd be happy to do um, you know three or four videos um, just depending on interest so you can let me know what you think that one's a little bit off so I'm gonna try to again fudge that a little bit oh it's not moving that's okay we embrace imperfection in this studio so we're a little bit off here just a smidge I mean just a hair's breadth there and uh, yeah, it's not too super, super visible, so I'm not gonna fret about it. Now, on this one, I may actually add another one because look at how much more room I have. So let me put that in place and then close that. So see, oh no, we have about the same. That's actually really cool. Uh, we have about the same on either side. So I think we'll just leave it with the four so I don't foul up the, the look of that. And again, I'll put the seam binding around the back of this uh, to tie it off. I'll create a couple of journal cards and um, yeah. And you'll be able to see photos of the decorating, uh, the decorated pieces um, at the end of the video. So I'm going to say goodbye and um, take care of my friends and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.